Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to Robot Arena 2 DSL Mod. Um, today I actually took a look at some of the competitors with full body spinning uh, mechanics, some of the uh, full body spinners, and I set up what I think might, be, uh, think might be one of the most craziest matches I've ever seen in my entire life. So I went through some of the game settings and I wanted to show you what I set up the other day. Because I've actually already seen this go down and I wanted to show it to you guys because it was just really fun to watch. So I think I had them in this arena right about where where did it go I had it um, turned off there we go and I turned off the hazards so that the robots actually wouldn't you know fall into the pits and it's um all 20 minutes just some of the best spinners I could find but it's an absolutely wild and crazy match and I just set it up at random because I had the idea to do it so I wanted to show it to you guys because I think it's pretty fun so without further ado let's get right down into it and see what this is gonna be like it's going to be hard for me to keep up with all the action, obviously. But uh, if it's anything like last time, it'll be great to try to announce it. <laughs> or commentate on it. <clears throat> I better get ready. It's crazy. The fans are ready for some action tonight. We're seeing some interesting robot designs tonight. I already have a pretty clear idea of who's probably going to win. Oh. And we've got Grog the Warrior easing in on Tornado Mayor and a heavy hit from Grog the Warrior. Tempest. Whoa. Grog, Grog the Warrior. Tempest and Lochnut going right up against each other. Oh, and some heavy hits there by Lochnut. Woo. Rock the Warriors taking it to Tornado Mayor. He doesn't have much stamina. He doesn't. He doesn't have much uh, ability left. He's getting counted out. Lockner going wild over the ring. Can't get to Tornado Mayor. Or can't get to Tempest. Grog the Warrior just tearing up Tornado Mayor all by himself. It looks like Tornado's actually lost some of his weapon there. And these spinners are out of control. Let me see if I can follow some of the action manually. There we go. Tornado Mayor's got a at least a halfway decent fighting chance against Tempest. Grog the Warrior sizing himself up against Locknut. Locknut's still going crazy on the center of the pit there. Good thing it doesn't good thing for him it doesn't activate. <laughs> oh, and it looks like poor Tempest and Tornado Mayor can't actually get to each other. Whoa, and it looked like a heavy hit coming from Grog the Warrior. Oh! And it looks like Grog the Warrior got another heavy hit on Locknut. Locknut's lost all but one of his hammers and all of his hammers. Now he's just a box. As, lo as Grog the Warrior proceeds to tear him limb from limb, he's been destroyed. And now I believe he's going to go for his other victims. Tempest is... Tornado, Tornado Mare is almost out. Looks like Tempest is knocking him out now. And there's the, ca there's the knockout. Now, Grog the Warrior is going to go for Tempest. Can he, st oh, withstand some heavy hits from Grog the Warrior. A truly devastating bot. I think we'll do this round one more time, and this time it'll be all middleweights. Because I noticed that Grog the Warrior is the only one there who's actually a heavyweight. But he is just devastating in the arena. And I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing I could possibly build that could get through him. Um, in the heavyweight division. Oh! <laughs> and Grog the Warrior rips off Tornado Mare's, uh, part of Tornado Mare's drum spinner and then throws it at him. He's now getting up to full spinning speed. Oh, excuse me, that was Tempest. I get their nags mixed up sometimes. He's <laughs> throwing spikes at him, throwing hammers at him. It actually looks like, for once, Grog the Warrior has lost many of his actual spinning weapons. And he has two hammers left on the side there, and what appear to be two claws. Now, if he doesn't move, he's going to get counted out, but that... Uh-oh. Oh, dear. There we go. I, um... That little fan on his top actually allows him to, um... Actually allows him to sort of roll around so he doesn't get counted out. But look at that point total at 54,264. That is incredible. Uh, let's go back and try to set that match up again with just middleweights and I'll be right back. Hey 
And we're back. I actually took another look at it, surprising thing. Tornado Mare is actually a heavyweight. So there was a heavyweight in the match all along. Let's see now. What about Team Megaton's Tempest? How is... How is he? Team Megaton, how heavy are you? Megaton, you are a middleweight. Okay, so he was a middleweight. What about Team Hex's Locknut? Hmm... He's a middleweight too, so there was one heavyweight in there. Now it's Tornado Mare. Let's see if the advantage always goes to the heavyweight. I really feel like Grog the Warrior is just terrible. Like, in a good way. Not that he's broken, he's just... He's so devastating. You can feel the tension now I selected him specifically because 360 Arc Pounder is the winner of the lightweight tournament and there's just something special about the way he, he fights. Okay, we're gonna zoom out, get all the action. Whoa! Tornado Mare gets a heavy hit against 360 Arc Pounder, but 360 Arc Pounder's definitely got the range. He's getting heavy hits against Tempest and Locknut. Locknut doesn't seem to be able to go up to full spinning speed. Actually, I discovered that their weapons may be spinning at full spinning speed, but the game only renders every maybe third or fourth rotation. Kind of like when you look at your ceiling fan and it doesn't look like it's going as fast as it really is, or helicopter blades that are going so fast they almost look like they're stationary. It's stupid, don't listen to me. It looks like 360 Arc Pounder is actually doing pretty good. He's definitely not ahead in points, but... Whoa! Locknut's got way more than I expected him to. Tornado Mare's right behind him. And Tempest, they're all in the 20,000s. Wow! I'm surprised to see 360 Arc Pounder tra uh, trailing so far behind. These guys didn't stand much of a chance against uh, Grog the Warrior, but they're doing a lot better now. 360 Arc Pounder with a heavy hit in against Locknut. Looks like he seems to be aiming a little high there. He's got Tempest caught up in a corner. If he spins in the opposite direction, he can knock him into the wall. Now, as far as the arena traps, I wish I could selectively activate and deactivate traps. Not necessarily during matches, but wouldn't it be great if I could keep the pits turned off and have the flippers and hammers on? Now that would be a show. We've got 360 Arc Pounder coming up against Tempest on the back. Uh, Tornado Mare, actually. If he can actually get close enough to get a hit, there's a hit. Of course, uh, Tornado Mare had to back up for him. And another heavy hit. Uh-oh. Looks like he's trying to go up against Tempest. He better think twice about that. Tempest is going wild out there in the corner. That's a good camera angle. I like that. I was using the arena to a angle the camera. It looks like even though Tornado Mare can't move hardly and he has no weapons at all, he hasn't been knocked out yet. <laughs> oh man you see the reason I like this is because there's a lot of action at the start and there may not be action like a lot of action right now but man the carnage is great we got an Im immobility warning on Te Tornado Mare he's out immobility warning on Tempest uh, looks like he's out even though he's still moving around wait did they bring him back in? no he's out and looks like Locknut's about to go out a Tempest is still able to... Is he in or out? It counted him out, and then it registered him shaking around. So he's still in this, and he's... St but he he's still in this, but he's just... A, a hazard now. He just counts as a hazard. He can't rank up any points, he can't win. He just... What in the world just happened? Okay, so Locknut got counted out. Well... The lightweight 360 arc pounder just sort of waits everybody out and slowly waits for them to die. <laughs> what a terrible way to win. Okay, one more match with one more random opponent that's uh, probably a spinner. I'm going to go find one real quick and I'll be right back. Hey everybody, and we're back. I guess you could say uh, winner rotation out, like um, this type of match is uh, winner rotates out. It's usually the, uh, this is loser stays I guess. or. Uh, there's a match type called winner stays or loser stays, but 
In the first match, Grog the Warrior won, so he got his fun. We rotated him out. Then we had 360 Arc Pounder, who surprisingly won, so we rotated him out. And now we have a new competitor. That way it keeps everything fresh, so it's not always the same. Because if you just had one winner... Ooh, that's a, like a little mini tournament I could do right now. So, whoever wins this one, I'll combine three... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, I didn't uh, draw up a tournament roster, but I guess I won't need one. We'll just do one right now. <laughs> Let's see what these spinners can do. Welcome to the so, Octagon. there'll be a third winner here, the then all we'll need is a fourth winner, seats. and then all four of those winners can go up against each other. Little mini spinners tournament. To Maybe that's what I should call the video, mini spinners tournament. Mini spinner tourney. <laughs> Whoop. F2, and zoom out. Okay, this time we've got Top Knot 2 in here. A crazy spinner bot. Focusing less on the full body spinning tactics and more on those devastating axes it can bring down at any time. Ooh, and a heavy hit up against Tornado Mare. Lock Nut goes in for the kill against Tornado Mare. His low, his low uh, ground clearance hammers, or medium ground clearance hammers, seem to have an advantage against Tornado Mare's top weapon. It's just a little bit too high to hit Locknut, isn't it? Oh, and a heavy hit. Knocky oh no, is Top Knot 2 gonna get knocked out already? He's gotta move, he's gotta move. Ooh, Locknut's going crazy over there. Knocking everybody around, but Tempest is coming in hot and heavy with a full spinning speed. Top Knot 2 is out already. Wow, the mystery opponent gets knocked out in the first, I think, minute of the round. Well, of course it was, um, Immobility warning, but he's got all the power, but not much mobility. Low uh, ground clearance. It looks like his plates got stuck on the um, pit there. And of course, with the hazards off, he had his best chance of not having that happen. So, had the hazards actually been on, it would have been even worse for him. Hmm, and a heavy hit from Locknut on Tippist's side. Tippist looks to have three hammers left remaining. Of course, those are placed... Um, vertically as opposed to horizontally which is the usual which I, I like that design I would have never thought to use normally vertically facing hammers in a horizontal fashion to create a drum spinner uh oh looks like uh, Tempest is in trouble now his self riding mechanism doesn't seem to be helping him much in that angle Tornado Mare is also in a big trouble as he's caught on the uh, side of the pit there and it looks like not Locknut might be our third and final winner Who's still in this? Tornado Mare's out. Locknut's in. Tempest is still in somehow. He's just inching around the arena. <laughs> if Locknut can actually get to him and end this. Oh, and he's going to get stuck on that hammer and get the count out, isn't he? No? He's still in? Oh, man. Maybe I shouldn't have set it to 20 minutes. Uh-oh. Locknut's going in. He's going to get a... Oh, he got a heavy hit against Tornado Mare. Wrong guy. <laughs> Come on, get that hit. How close is he? Oh, he can't control himself. <laughs> Wait, there it is. Come on, just a little bit further. Oh, the suspense is killing me. It's going to kill him. Come on. Come on. You're almost there. You know you want to. Oh, and some heavy hits. But he doesn't seem to be able to move Tempest as much as I would have thought. Tempest must be very heavy. Getting the count out again goes Tempest. Well... Since this has kind of uh, gone down to a lull, I'll probably skip to the end and just watch some of this myself. Could this be it for Locknut? And there it goes. Locknut's counted out. He didn't quite inch around just barely enough. So Tempest is our third winner. So let's see. I think we'll get one last random person in there. I don't know if there'll be a full body spinner or just have a bladed spinning weapon like Tornado Mare and some of the rest. So we'll, let's see, so that means Tempest is out. We'll get one other new person in. All right, and we're back, folks. And in place of Tempest, who was the winner from the last round, I, th I hope I've done this right. Next time I'll have to write it down because I've tried to remove only the winners. Remember, the focus of this is to remove only the winners so that they can all fight each other in the final round. So, Tempest is out because he won, and Insane Berserker is in. So, so far, we've got Tempest, 
DSL Total Conversion. Tempest, Grog the Warrior, 360 Arc Pounder, and then whoever this is. 360 Arc Pounder, Grog the Warrior, and Tempest. Don't let me forget. We'll get to this match, and then we'll have them all fight each other. In this, in this corner is going to be Team Z's Insane Berserker. Of course, again, he's a lightweight, but we all saw that a lightweight can actually win this against the heavyweights because of 360 Arc Pounder. So I'm actually looking really forward to this match. And then the four of them, four, that's four, not five, four of them will fight each other in a little mini spinners tournament. You know, just something quick that I didn't have to write down, and it's fun for everybody. I can watch, you can watch, and we can all enjoy the carnage. All right, everybody, get on in there. We've got Tornado Mayor squaring off against Top Knot 2. Whoa! Oh, dear, that's not good for our little guy, Insane Berserker. Oh, goodness, I didn't think his weapon would be knocked off immediately. Run, little guy! Oh, he looks so precious and helpless and defenseless now. Don't go over there. Don't go over there. You don't want to get caught in that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Look away. Look away, children. It's bad. No, don't. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's going to come down to these three. Whoa. Top, uh, top Knot 2 has actually lost three of his four axes. Well, what in the heck took those out? Was it Tornado Mare or Tempest? Or, excuse me, Loch Nut. Tornado Mare or Loch Nut? And apparently he can still use the bars. Hey, they're useful as self-writing mechanisms, I guess. Whoa! Tornado Mare comes up against um, the very heavy plating on Top Knot 2 and loses his bladed weapon. So now he doesn't have anything to spin with, but unfortunately it looks like Top Knot 2 doesn't have any axes coming down, so he's going to need to either spin or get the heck off of that pressure plate for the pit, because he's going to get counted out just like last time. Out of all these bots, it looks like Locknut's going to take it home on this one, which is funny, because he actually lost the last one. And, again, I love how the bots don't actually turn off whenever they're dead. They just sort of stay there as hazards or just, just carnage. Look at all the parts strewn around the arena. I love it. We got Locknut taking off some of the spikes from Top Knot 2. Top Knot 2 coming in for a ramming attack. Hopefully those spikes can get through those hammers, but I don't think it's going to work like that. His best bet is if um, Lock Nut loses enough. Oh, Tornado Mare is going to get counted out, and there it goes. It's out. It's just Lock Nut and Top Nut, uh, Lock Nut and Top Nut 2 now. Oh, that's a tongue twister. But um, his best bet, Top Nut 2's best bet, is that immobility right there. For some reason, I think it might be his tires or the warping from some of the hits, but. He doesn't seem to have a lot of mobility whenever it comes right down to it. Nope, just as I thought. He seems to have a lot of trouble catching the arena. If I was going to design him, I might give him tires slightly bigger than that. But we've got Top Knot 2 in the final match of the uh, little 4-on-4 four, four four minis tournament. So this time I'm going to take out all the losers and it's just going to be the four winners. So I'll do that and we'll be right back. Alright, and we're back everybody. We've got the winners from the little mini spinners tournament here with Top Knot 2 versus Grog the Vengeful versus t uh, Team Robot Arena Reincarnated's Top Knot 2, Team Prehistoric's Grog the Vengeful versus Team Megaton's Tempest versus the Scrapper's 360R Founder. Now, um, obviously there are more bots that I could have added to this, but I was looking for more full body spinners or bar spinners, things like that, for just a little mini spinners tournament because I noticed that it actually has the most carnage and destruction of any of the different types of bots, plus spinners have always been my favorite. So I just wanted to run a little mini tournament, and at the end, let's see uh, who's going to come out on top. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Grog the Vengeful, but with countouts being a thing because of immobility and him not having much mobility, you never know. So let's see what's going to happen. Welcome to the Octagon! The fans are ready for some action tonight. You can feel the tension between the opposing robots as we begin tonight's match. All right, and we've got our bots squaring up now. 360 Arc Pounder taking the high road, apparently. Going right up in between Grog the Warrior and Top Knot 2. 
He apparently shows no fear. Whoa, Gronga Warrior's knocking off some of Tempest's hammers there. Sparks are flying everywhere. We got Gronga Warrior and, Ta uh, and uh, Tempest. Oh, no. <laughs> now, see, I knew this was going to happen. It's hard to keep track of everything. 360 Arc Pounder going crazy, hitting Top Knot 2 and Tempest at the same time. Grog the Warrior appears to be stuck in the corner on top of one of the pit traps. Top Knot 2 still got all four of his hammers. Tempest appears to be stuck on one of um, appears to be stuck on one of the flippers. Good thing they're inactive. Tempest 2 with a missing hammer, making three out of four left remaining that I can see. Lots of spikes from Top Top Knot 2 littering the corners of the arena. Well, at least two. 360 Arc Pounder taking heavy hits from Grog the Warrior, but still showing no signs of any fear from him. Those heavy hits from three, 360 Arc Pounder are actually very surprising. If he can manage to do some of his crazy flipping magic that he likes to do and actually chop off that um, top flipper. Oh no! And it looks like Grog the Warrior has taken 360 Arc Pounder's. Um, bar and one of his wheels off. He has ripped that bot apart. <laughs> I'm kind of glad to see that scene as how he beat me. We've got Top Knot 2 over there conserving some of his energy. Still got all four of his deadly axes. Ooh, very concentrated attacks. Did you see that over there? He got, um, he hit Tempest and flipped him on his side with some very concentrated attacks. It looks, oh, and another, another heavy hit from Tempest, or Top Knot 2. It looks like he likes to deploy the axes as he's spinning, one at a time. I love that strategy, but of course, you better bring those axes up when you're up against Grog the Warrior, because if you don't bring those axes up and you leave them to the side like that, Grog the Warrior will rip them off. It's down to top knot two. Grog the Warrior, 360 arc pounder and Tempest. Surprisingly enough, everybody is still in this match. Nobody's been knocked out or counted out yet, but it looks like we're about to see a count out here on 360 arc pounder, and there he goes. Woo! Uh-oh, Grog the Warrior, the um, EE's on his side. Can his self-riding mechanism help him out? And it does. Tempest two, or Tempest is uh, in some big trouble now. Ooh, caught in the middle of a hurricane right there between Grog the Warrior and Top Knot 2. Ah, that's a funny thing. Uh, Tempest caught in a hurricane. Whoa, what did I tell you about leaving the maxes down? Top Knot 2, you can't do that. Grog the Warrior's gonna rip them bad boys off. Just like he rips off, uh, apparently, some of Tempest's uh, side plating. Ah, there, I told you, I told you, he ripped it right off. He ripped it off. That's one down, three to go. Top knot two, better watch out. Grog the Warrior's gonna, he's determined to take this whole thing. Tempest two's in trouble. He's looking to sit in the corner and wait this one out. He doesn't want any of this. But Grog the Warrior doesn't look like he's gonna let anybody sit out. He lines himself up against Tempest two and gets a devastating hit. Without much control, it looks like he's smoking now. He's probably got some difficulty going on with the controls. He's probably just he's probably just winging it right now. Top Knot 2 seems to have some difficulty moving. He's got some trouble with the drivetrain there. Whoa! And Grog the Warrior goes up against those side plates. Knocks off, knocks off a side plate and knocks off an axe. Grog the Warrior goes in against Tempest and Top Knot 2, tearing them both to shreds. I tell you what, even if they... Oh, and there's three down. That's one more to go. He's... It's like he's taunting them now. He's just picking them apart. He's some sort of predator preying on his meal. Devastating. He literally... What is he, a perfectionist? Is he going to try to get every spike and axe off of Temp Top Knot 2? Man, this guy is a monster. Tempest is getting counted out with seven seconds remaining, but Grog the Warrior won't have any of it. He gives him just, a much, just enough of a big hit, which is his version of a nudge, to keep Tempest 2 from getting counted out. But now... It's, it may cost him. He's on his side. Uh-oh. We've got all three countouts going at once. Who's going to last the longest? Tempest is out of it. Top Knot 2 is out of it. If Grog the Warrior... Oh, my goodness. And his pride gets the better of him as his, um, as his uh, self-riding mechanism isn't able to actually help him stay um, in this game. And it comes down to the two dead bots. Top Knot 2 with one axe remaining. Wow. What a match. And it's actually great practice if you ever wanna uh, if you ever wanna try to keep up with some crazy stuff going on and you wanna practice that um I call it the um what's it called? Oh, 
If you ever want to practice your auctioneer voice, you know. <laughs> and we got Top Knot 2 with the turn, and then we got Grog with the and then we got Tempest. 360 R Pounder going to 5. Going to, you know, like the guys that run those, um, the guys that run those auctions. I always like to sound like them whenever I'm doing announcements, you know. I want to get really fast with it, keep up with the action. But if you ever want to, you know, try to keep up the pace and, like, Try to see if you can keep up with all the crazy stuff that's going on, which I don't think I did very well, but I certainly did my best. It actually really helps. Kind of like voice training of some sort, but in our little mini tournament, it looks like Top Knot 2 took it away. Um, I, I guess a upset victory, underdog victory. Um, I definitely expected it to be prehistoric Skronk the Vengeful. He just basically eliminated everybody in his path and really only lost because of that good old-fashioned pride. He, um, I'm not sure if he actually had any real control over where he was going. He probably didn't. But I feel like he tried to get that last hit on Tempest. And it sent him to his side and cost him the match. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed. That's our little mini spinners tournament for Monday. And it was definitely a lot of fun to run. And definitely a lot of fun to try to keep up with. And... There's a lot of bloody carnage all around this ring. We got tires, axes, spikes, hammers, just bodies. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Don't know what I'm going to call this episode yet, but it'll hopefully be out by this afternoon. And I had a ton of fun uh, planning it with you. And um, maybe I'll combine um, part of the video that I did earlier on, which was uh, do-it-yourself uh, tournament brackets, so that I can show my process for actually how I make the paperback brackets by hand using a ruler, a pencil, and a, a sh nothing more than a sheet of paper. I know that there are online systems that you can go to where you actually just enter in names, put them in brackets, and a computer will do it for you automatically, but I actually prefer the old school style just because it just works for me better um, for right now. I might actually start printing out my own tournament brackets at some point, but for now it's going to be the old the good old pencil ruler method of making my own uh, tournament style brackets. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to subscribe for updates on future content. Leave any helpful comments or suggestions for future shows you might have in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated and until next time, take it easy my friends.